Hello everybody and welcome again to another Garden Journey Season 2 Episode 1 for those of you in Future Cannabis Project and in my original channel that haven't checked out Season 1, please check it out. Um, but we have Season 2 here and a whole new run and we've got a lot of fun stuff going on in our year-round greenhouse up here in the cold white north. Luckily enough, we have this beautiful heated space to be able to have a lot of fun and unique plant variety. I hope you all are excited to take this journey with me. I'm going to try and stop by once a week and show you what's going on in my garden and so we can all get growing together. As you can see, about seven days from now, these Acapulco Golds, which we've been vegging out for a little while, will be popping into my flower tent. They're looking lovely, even, and nicely. A little canopy. And don't forget to like and subscribe for those watching in Future Cannabis Project and on my own channel. Uh, we appreciate your following and all that little bits and bobs. It's awesome to have you here. Now, we have some peppers and habaneros, which have been interesting. And there's been a little bit of trouble with them, but we are getting the plant up and the heat up as well. So hopefully things should come up a little bit better. As you can see, we're going to jump into my collar. And my collard greens at, that were featured in last year's season one are still growing beautifully. We took another harvest out of those on the weekend. We're able to have a great dinner with them it was absolutely delicious i am currently hunting through a few velvet skies now naturally of course i have a very small greenhouse so my funeral hunt is a whole three plants but it's been an exciting little one and i've got these ready to go in the tent in about six weeks um clones cut off and ready to go so we'll see how those turn out i did do a funeral hunt with those earlier i did didn't do a funeral hunt i planted one seed and ran it through earlier this year and it was excellent beautiful genetic so we're excited to see how things turn out this year now let's get out of this greenhouse and into the flower tent because we have some frosty nuggets for each and every one of you As you can see, the cover crop is going crazy and the plants are taking off like no tomorrow. These were lemon kush headband and they're planted with a cover crop of about uh, 13 or 14 different varieties of small flowers, vegetables and everything. Essentially at the end of this, we should be able to harvest a few vegetables out. And this is lemon kush headband, Pheno 3. So not the one that you all have seen before, but definitely a great plant. It's got a little bit of stretch in it and allows a little bit more airflow, but this plant is quite beautiful and quite delicious and grows very, very nicely, especially with this cover crop um, heavily going, as you can see. Uh, well, I'll let this plant speak for themselves for a little bit. Those of you that were fortunate enough to be able to join in on Future Cannabis Project's Sunday feature of Fire is Fire, we're lucky enough to check out these amazing fire genetics. Now, Chaz, who was their feature guest on the show, provided this beautiful plant for me, and it is one 
frosty, frosty, frosty plant. It is sitting at day 31 now and is well on its way uh, to be harvested in nine weeks. I'm excited to take this down. I, it, it is looking amazing. I'm really impressed. Two weeks now to harvest and it will be uh, hanging to dry. I am pumped to have this in my garden. Thank you, Chaz. I appreciate it.